this video tutorial we're going to learn how to install Composer Dependency Manager or Package Manager for PHP. I'm currently running Mac OS X Catalina. We need an internet browser so I'm going to open up Safari. I'm on google.com and I'm just going to search Composer PHP. And the first thing that shows up is getcomposer.org. That's what we're looking for. Go ahead and click on that and we're going to go to downloads. Now it says to quickly install Composer in the current directory run the following script in your terminal. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this script. I'm using command C to copy and then I'm going to open up terminal. Um, we're going to install it in the current directory which is my home folder for this user which is Scriptster and I'm going to use command V to paste and then enter. Now what that did was it downloaded the composer.phr file and installed it into my current directory and if I want to see if that works I can type php composer.phar and as you can see we do have composer installed and working. The only problem is if I want to use composer in a different folder let's say I go to I'm going to change to my desktop folder now if I want to run that same command, I'm just using the up arrow to go to previous commands and now if I want to run that php composer.phar it couldn't run it. Now it couldn't run it because it's not installed globally. Um, so what we want to do next is we're going to go back to our previous directory cd space dot dot will take us back one and just to make sure we're still in the same directory that composer is installed I'm going to type ls for list files and hit enter and we can see we're right back where we were and there's our composer file so composer has another command that we can run in their getting started area under uh, global installation I'm gonna copy this command command C I'm gonna go back to my terminal that I was just in and I'm gonna paste this command with command V now what this is doing I'm saying MV is um, the command for move and I want to move compose, composer.phar to slash usr slash local slash bin into a file called composer. So let's go ahead and press enter and it should have moved. Now I'm going to run ls again to list the files and we shouldn't see composer.phar and we do not so that means it has moved. Now I should be able to just type composer instead of the previous command which was php composer.phar and it should work let's te test this out and there we go now we're able to just run the command composer in the terminal and if we go back to our desktop folder and we try composer as a command it should work and it did so that's how to install Composer. If you have any issues installing, they do have a lot of documentation here. Um, hopefully it went as smooth as it did for me, for you. And if you have any questions or comments, just post them below.